Well, good morning and welcome to C. Fernald Channel, also known as CCTV Celestial Watchers. Those guys that are gazing into the sky all day, hanging out in the clouds. You remember your mom used to say, you got your head up in the clouds? And I used to, yeah, I do. I just watch the clouds. And so now I'm really watching the clouds. So look at this. We're in uh, Ecuador. We're looking at this black thing with what looks like a couple tails off the edge of it. And then I'm going to take you to... Um, Vinto Verona, Italy, you'll see a nighttime picture of a kind of a yellowish white orb uh, deeper into the, I think we're facing right here, southwest, I think that one's facing, I'm going to say south, southeast, so that's next, this is just a quick video startup, get you started today, get your eyes adjusted, Some crazy stuff in the skies, because if this is a, uh, let's say, wormwood shadowing the clouds, you know, and there's a tail, we're in trouble. And that's all I got to say. Got Jesus. But anyways, um, I got some new music for you folks. I'm going to give it a spin. Let's check it out. And uh, stick around. You might see something that's going to be mind-blowing in eight minutes. Can't jump ahead on the premiere, but you could jump ahead on the video. Please don't, because I want you to see this whole thing, all right? All right, eight minutes, and I'm going to show you this spectacular uh, blue planet, strike small blue planet, and a rock formation. I won't tell you no more. I won't blow it. You got to get there in a minute. God bless you guys. Come on in the room. Grab your coffee, your chicken, your Popeyes your Taco Bell, or whatever, french fries, pizza, stick around, got a little bit to go, guys getting crazy, hey, if you get any pictures, you want to send them to me, send them to Ka-Fi TV 18, C-A dash F-I TV 18, at gmail.com, I'll put it up on the screen, all right, keep watching, check out my new music, So there you go. <clears throat> We're in Verona, Italy. Uh, Benito, Verona, Italy. And as we see this, like, uh, orangish yellow orb right here, it's nighttime in Italy, facing south, I believe. Um, if anybody knows any different for facing south, I believe we are. It's more in the south direction than in the other shot in Ecuador is more in the southwest. I believe it's southwest, more so. So, <clears throat> okay, thought you'd like to see that. Now, are you warmed up? You ready to go? Oh, yeah. I'm going to show you something that's just uh, that blew my mind. 
Check it out. Also, I just realized that my uh, download 2019 folder and two other folders, mostly I downloaded about 50 songs from YouTube and uh, all the new songs on YouTube are now gone. My folder is gone on 2019, but I had a few captures in there, but I already showed them to you, so no big loss. Um, I have dummy folders set up all over the place and they grabbed one of my dummy folders. The only problem I lost was all that music, which is no big deal because it's all on YouTube. So anyways, keep watching. Uh, I got music. I got music. I got Jesus too. So some of you guys are making comments that I didn't mention Paul Begley or Mike from Around the World Council of Time channel. I did on both videos I did. I honor those guys highly. Um, so keep watching. But um, I always make sure there's info somewhere in the start of the video. Sometimes we miss the beginning of the video. But um, sorry if you missed it, but that's who it was. Um, thank you, Patricia, for letting people know. Anyways, um, <clears throat> so this next this next scene is going to be in San Cabo, San Cabo San Lucas. And it's going to be on September 19th. And the reason I hold some of this footage from Ken is because it's so eye-opening that like I just had a folder stolen. I know it was hacked. I know it was taken. That's all that was taken. I've had selective folders taken. I've had stuff out of my Dropbox taken. Stuff up on Google, you know, the cloud taken. So don't believe it can't happen, folks, because it can and it does. But that's okay. I have dummy folders to say, you know, 2020 download, 2020, 2019, 2018. And they usually take those now. But everything else I got is offline on a four-tier, four-T hard drive that was donated by uh, my good friend, Brenda. Thank you, Brenda. Anyways, so <clears throat> I don't know how this orb is showing on both sides of the world, but uh, right there, still I got it in infrared. I mean, I got it in uh, night vision. So, you know, how is it shown in both sides of the world? Not me. That's not the moon, guys. This is about an hour and a half footage right here, time lapse for your viewing. But it was really just to get you warmed up because I want to show you something that's really in the sky, right? So I'll be quiet if you watch. Please watch. Hey, Ken, how you doing? I got a busy out there. King King dropped all this footage off in September. I have about 75 gold of like I told you, uh, material. Uh, uh, the northern region sees all kinds of stuff in Mexico. He sits up a lot at night and does stuff, so he's watching and praying. Anyways, thank you, Ken. Keep sending it. I know you've been on vacation while working your business. But if you see anything out there, let me know. I know you will. Anyways, folks, if you guys want to send footage, I'll put up the address. All right.
Guitar, folks. That was an awesome guitar. Well, this wormhole, worm portal hole to ships coming in out of our atmosphere, our dimension, that little thing that looked like maybe a blue beam shooting that planet, that blue planet that's not even real. I mean, this is so surreal. Who knows what's really going on? Alien technology, fallen angels. <clears throat> the giants are running the earth in Peru. Over in uh, Afghanistan, the giants are being seen. All kinds of stuff going on. Don't even want to re rehash it, but see how dark that blue in the background is. I believe that's the dark side of Nibiru. And then the front here is either, I don't know, alien craft coming in a portal hole, or it might be that asteroid that Samuel Hoffman talks about. But you look how dark it is. It's 5 o'clock. I started this, like, it's about... A 20 minute capture okay and so what I did was I the clips I took of it I put them together and made it into a slow motion basically so you could see everything and dehazing takes all the chemtrails and everything so a little bit of darkness I added to it to bring out everything it didn't take away or didn't add anything to it but you notice how dark it is right now that's that big dark blue planet back there. You can see it, right? I mean, now I'm going to show you a really dark picture and see 
what we could remove for lens flares. Let's see if we could remove the blue planet up there, the striped blue planet. But actually, we're getting a better picture of that blue planet. So let me uh, reel it in a little bit. So who can make this stuff up? Come on, people. I was showing you last week, this week, uh, Paul Begley and my, my new friend Mike from around the world that has yet to meet me. And I'm taking liberty with their stuff because they're reflecting the Bible, people. And I'm showing pictures of these flybys. Now, this is definitely a flyby on the left. And uh, I just blackened out the skies. You can see where the red, the round planet, just the most of the black. <clears throat> and so the, the real light source of the sun simulator is really blasting right now. And that till green. But look at this, folks. Who can make it up? I mean, come on. Shout this out to at least five people right now. They need to see this. I don't care if they believe it. I don't want to believe it. I made the video. Anyways, come on, tell them, Malibu. Sometimes it takes a fork and a hammer, bam, and stick them, and they wake up. Maybe you have to unplug them from the Matrix, too. But, um, caught that asteroid on January 16th. Didn't even know it. Realized how important that was. And I got this craziness coming in. My Lord, help us come soon, Jesus. I know, we got the rapture to fall back on. It ain't nothing to fall back on. It's a promise from my Father in Heaven. I'm getting ready to go up, guys. I'll see you up there in a minute. So I just want to make this one last statement before this is over. And he that calls on the name of the Lord, whosoever calls on the name of the Lord, shall be saved. It's a promise from God. And don't let no man tell you how you should do that. That's between you and God. So, incoming. Incoming. Electromagnetic pole shift. Natural pole shift. Volcanoes. Earthquakes. We're in the last days, folks. Give your life to Jesus today. Hope you enjoyed this new video. Um, I can't get over how blue this little blue planet is and how it's almost so surreal looking. It is by far the best one I've caught so far. Thank you, Ken. Um, I didn't mention Ken to the whole video, but Ken, this is all Ken's work right here. Uh, some of this stuff in Mexico I get, sometimes Ken leads me that way and I catch a bunch more. But we work together, so this is one of Ken's best, by far, best captures so far for UFO and blue stripe planet well big blue Nebiru in the background taking over all the sun taking all the light out of the sky eclipsing everywhere well, I gotta say one thing people I love you it's been a two and a half three years of journey uh, it's getting close the flybys are getting more if any of you guys got somebody that wants me to use their uh, narration talking about Jesus in the last day I'm up for it, so I want you guys to go ahead and uh, let me know what you see here. Uh, if I have to get permission, I'll get permission, but if it's okay, I'll just use it. God bless, people. Talk to you later. God, Jesus. Don't forget, watch some of the videos on the end. It helps me.